Thank you for joining us for AWA's Lifting the Sky Awards Ceremony. Tonight, we will be awarding close to $35,000 in cash, merchandise, and magazine advertising, as well as gallery showcase awards to 21 members of AWA. Before we get started, we'd like to thank all of our generous patrons for making this show and all that we do at AWA possible. We would also like to thank our sponsors for their kind award donations. And finally, we'd like to recognize our jurors, Emily Larson, Monica Miller, and Mary Williams. Thank you. Hello, I'm Amanda Zimmerman, the Executive Director of American Women Artists. Welcome to the award ceremony for our 2021 online exhibition, Lifting the Sky, Elevating the Works of American Women Artists. We're thrilled to have you here tonight. Here with me is AWA Board President, Christine Dreyer. Thank you, Amanda. It is an honor to be here this evening for our award ceremony, and I'm excited to see the winners. This online exhibition received over 2,200 entries from 675 artists, an all-time record for AWA. Of those entries, 151 works were selected for the show, along with four works by AWA Heritage Circle members. It is a privilege to be hosting such an incredible show with some of the top women artists from across the United States and Canada. Congratulations to everyone included in the show. Yes, it truly is an honor to not only be in the show, but to be here with you this evening to help give out these wonderful awards. Lifting the Sky can be viewed on the exhibitions page of AWA's website. Without further ado, let's begin. We'll start with our awards of excellence. For this show, we have eight awards at this level to present. Each award includes a $250 cash prize along with other merchandise. Christine, why don't you start us off with the first recipient of an award of excellence? I'd love to, Amanda. Our first award of excellence is funded by Valerie Collimore Fine Art, and the award goes to Sunset in Spanish Fork, Utah, an oil by Susan N. Jarvis, an associate member of distinction from Utah. Our second award of excellence goes to A Day Like Any Other, an oil by Nicole Monet, an associate with distinction member from New York. The third award of excellence goes to Bridge of Brotherhood, a bronze sculpture by master signature member Angela Mia de la Vega from Texas. The fourth recipient of an award of excellence is The Bear and the Bees. This pastel on state maps with gold and silver leaf is by Lisa Glein, signature from Georgia. The fifth award of excellence is awarded to The Baroness, a porcelain and oil sculpture by Diana Unrain, an associate member from Kansas. Award of excellence number six goes to The Truth is Out There, an oil by associate member Natalie Featherston from Rhode Island. Our seventh award of excellent recipient is Nesting, a soft pastel by Barbara Mason, an associate member from Texas. And our eighth and final award of excellence goes to Wayne, a transparent watercolor painting by Irina Roman, an associate with distinction member from Massachusetts. Next, we will move on to our Memorial Awards, which includes the Francis Trechak Memorial Award of Excellence. This gracious award carries a $750 cash prize funded by the family. Let's watch a short video from the family to see who they selected. 
Hello, we are here representing the Trey Chalk family. Every year we are honored to present the Fran Trey Chalk Award for the Excellence in Art with the American Women Artists. We, as her grandchildren, children, and great-grandchildren, are honored to bestow this honor on one of your artists. We have been imbued with a sense of love and appreciation for art from a very young age through our grandmother or mother or great-grandmother. With so many impressive submissions, it's a daunting task to choose just one. We are honored to announce that this year's winner is Flamingo Flamenco by Christy Mullane. Congratulations. congratulations. Thank you to the Trey Chalk family for this generous award and congratulations to Master Signature member Christy Mullane from Washington. Our next Memorial Award is the Kathleen J. Smith Humanity and Art Award, which carries a generous $1,500 cash prize funded by the family of Kathleen J. Smith. Let's take a moment to hear what this award means to them. We are so excited for you to know about the wonderful Kathleen J. Smith, my precious mother, her grandmother, a very passionate educator and believer in finding the star within everyone and helping them shine as brightly as possible. My grandma was extremely passionate about the freedom of expression and the impact that that could make and just embracing one's individuality and using that momentum to uplift and empower other people. So we're so excited because we know she would be so appreciative of her legacy being continued through the arts. Thank you to the family of Kathleen J. Smith and their generosity. The award goes to Take Shelter, Acrylic, Block Printing, and Oil on Canvas by Ashley Cecil, Associate from Pennsylvania. Now we'll move on to our President's Award. Let's watch this short video by Christine. Hi, my name is Christine Gravy Dreyer, uh, President of American Women Artists. Uh, having been a professional artist for most of my adult career, I'm fully aware of the countless solitary hours that an individual spends perfecting her craft. It requires skill, talent, uh, a great deal of tenacity, courage, and individual uh, perception. As the president of American Women Artists, I felt it a great honor to be able to lend my support, my backing, and my voice to an awarding one artist for creating an outstanding and distinguished piece of artwork worthy of recognition this year. As with any show, it is always a daunting task to select only one. <laughs> and Certainly, Lifting the Sky exhibition was no exception to that rule. Um, these works not only lift the sky, but I felt elevate the soul. I'm aware of the impact that um, special recognition can mean to an artist's career, and it is a privilege to be a part of that. It is my great pleasure to contribute a $1,000 President's Award to a very deserving, incredibly talented, and forward-thinking artist this year. I hope that you enjoy the selection as much as I did in choosing it. Thank you. Thank you, Christine, for your generosity. Why don't you announce the award winner? Of course, I would love to. The recipient of the President's Award goes to Emily and the Ram. A Charcoal Drawing by Annie Murphy Robinson, an associate member from California. One of the essential building blocks of any well-constructed piece of art is drawing. It is the bare bones talent which has nowhere to hide. Emily and the Ram possesses this quality and oozes pure skill. This piece conjures an ancient belief in mythological memories, convincing me that I have known its story for eons. Yet, it also brings me right back to the present with a shockingly contemporary presence. 
Annie has stolen my heart with this exceptional piece of art, which has all of the wow factor, which any winner must emanate. Congratulations, Annie. We will now present the Gallery Showcase Awards. The first Gallery Showcase Award is presented by the Principal Gallery. With locations in Charleston, South Carolina and Alexandria, Virginia. The winner of this award will have a show at one of the two principal gallery locations. And the award goes to Rusty Enamel and Violets Oil by signature member Carmen Drake from North Carolina. Our second gallery showcase award is being awarded by the Phoenix Zoo Art Committee. The artist that receives this award will have a show in the Savannah Gallery at the Phoenix Zoo in Arizona. The award goes to On a Gray Day, Oil by Laney, Master Signature Member from Wyoming. What an incredible prize. Congratulations to both Carmen and Laney. The next portion of the awards are the Magazine Awards of Excellence, so kindly sponsored by the National Art Magazines. AWA is grateful for their support of our mission and our members. The Art of the West Award of Excellence includes a full page ad in their publication, and it goes to Undercover Angel, Oil and Gold Leaf Painting by Terry Cook Hall. Signature member from Montana. Next, we have the Fine Art Connoisseur Award of Excellence, which garners a full page ad in their magazine. This award goes to The Common Thread, Watercolor by Alicia Shea, signature member from New York. And our final magazine award of excellence is from Southwest Art Magazine. And this award is for a full page ad in their publication. The award goes to Mel Fleur, Oil by Leanne Winham, associate from New Hampshire. Congratulations to all of the Magazine Award of Excellence winners. Now, let's move on to the Distinguished Achievement Awards. Each of these awards will include a $1,000 cash prize. The first Distinguished Achievement Award is in sculpture. This award goes to Carousel Rabbits, a bronze and steel sculpture by Master Signature member Diana Ruder Twining from Virginia. Congratulations, Diana. Next, we have the Distinguished Achievement Award in Still Life, which goes to Dolores, Colored Pencil by Megan Cedar, an associate from California. Congratulations to Megan. Our next Distinguished Achievement Award is figurative or portraiture in painting or sculpture. This award goes to Manu, an oil by Nanette Fleur, associate with distinction from New Jersey. Congratulations, Nanette. Finally, we have the Distinguished Achievement Award in Landscape, Seascape, or Cityscape. The recipient of this award is They Made Maps of the Sky, Oil by Kim Vanderhoek, an associate with distinction from California. Congratulations, Kim. And congratulations to all of the award winners of the Distinguished Achievement Awards. Now it's the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is the announcement of the $10,000 grand prize award. Christine and I were able to catch up with the award winner on Zoom and surprised her with the great news. Let's watch her reaction. 
Hi, this is Lynette Cook. I'm an acrylic painter in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a member of AWA. I'm an associate with Distinction. And I love to paint urban landscapes. Can you tell me how um, living in the San Francisco Bay Area has uh, in, in a very unique way in, influenced your work? Well, yes, definitely. And if you'd asked me back, say, 2010, if I thought I'd be doing the work um, today that I am doing now, I would never have guessed it because I was not initially interested in buildings with fire escapes. It's like, oh, they're kind of ugly, aren't they? In fact, when I first moved to San Francisco Bay Area and I came to the city and I remember being out in the avenues driving around and thinking, there is so much concrete out here. And I thought, oh, it's ugly. I mean, yes, you've got the Bay, the Bay Bridge and the Golden Gate and you know all these wonderful icons, but there is a lot of concrete, let's face it, and a lot of kind of scruffy areas. Um, but one thing led to another. Um, part of what, what helped is I went to China with my mom on a trip uh, back in 2007. I never expected to go to China, but my mother had an opportunity. She was going to go with her husband and he died unexpectedly, which opened up, uh, you know, a, a ticket. And she said, would you like to go with me? And I said, well, sure. <laughs> and it was a wonderful trip. And the, the people were so nice. And I just love that. So when I came back home after that trip and I visited Chinatown and I looked at it differently, you know, I really noticed the, the laundry hanging out to dry. I mean, yes, it had been there all along, but I didn't really pay attention that, that much in terms of painting it or creating art of it. And then I started noticing more the shadows and the, the patterns of light on the fire escapes. And long story short, I started seeing beauty in what before to me had been kind of ugly. And that just developed into this series. And, um, and I found the patterns of, of light, um, to me, they, they provide a sense of peace and harmony. There's, um, there's a quality of repetition it's like getting life in order. You know, there's chaos and then you see this order, but it's also a wonderful pairing of nature and the Ermid environment. This, these scenes would not exist without the sun. And as a former astronomical artist who did lots of illustrations of planets around suns, <laughs> in a way, it's the same thing. It's still about our star, our sun, and how it interacts with the environment around us and the buildings and the structures on the buildings, etc. So it just really coalesced over, over time into this series. Well, I, I love that you have managed to take a subject matter that is um, so uh, graphic and beautiful in its quality and tie it into an organic source and, and make it so, so beautiful. And, you know, the, those qualities are certainly admirable and your precision and skill really shines through in, in these works. Um, but Lynette, there's a, another reason that we are calling you and interviewing you today. Um, it is on behalf of American Women Artists and the Board of Directors and uh, all of those that support women in the arts. We are here to let you know that you have won the grand prize of $10,000 in the oh Lifting the Sky exhibition. Oh, wow. Seriously? <laughs> That's Seriously. <amazing. laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a good surprise. I certainly never expected that. Uh, well, that's what we were hoping. <laughs> uh, well, no, I mean, there's so many other good artists in the group that, uh, no, I mean, I thought I may never get that. You know, it's, it's so wonderful to have a chance at it, but uh, to really get it is a whole different experience. So, my, I'm honored. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a wow. wonderful, wonderful surprise. Well, we think the piece is an extraordinary example of the skill and the talent that American Women Artists represents. And, and I don't think anyone could have been more deserving. It is an outstanding, dynamic, special piece and all that skill just shines right through. So we're pretty yeah. proud of you. That's so nice to hear. Thank you. And I'm, I'm honored to take that place in the group um, <laughs> and, and 
be some kind of example for others. Um, it means a lot. Thank you. And, and I just want to say, too, because I've been thinking about this and thinking about uh, the chance at having an award. Uh, you know, everybody loves getting an award. It's it's so nice to to get whether it's a ribbon or it's a cash prize or it's art supplies or whatever it is. But it's really what the award represents that I think is just as important, if not more, because it means that all of the days and the weeks spent in isolation painting with, I mean, day after day without anybody saying, oh, you're doing a great job, um, it comes to something. And I think all of us have those times, you know, and when you get an award, people don't see that because it isn't really newsworthy. Nobody's there with the, the camera tuning in every day. Oh, there she is. She's at her canvas again. She's putting in six hours and tomorrow it'll be eight. And, you know, um, so it doesn't represent just something out of the blue that you get. It's something that re represents often even a lifetime of, of work, you know, just showing up every day. Yeah, so, yes, it does. And we, uh, we believe that that validation is critical um, and a wonderful part of, we're very blessed that we can offer that. And that's with the help of a lot of generosity. And so I'm we're sure grateful that you have it. <laughs> well, well, I'm grateful. And I'm grateful to those who made this possible um, because it, it can change an artist's life, you know, and with the pandemic and things being slow with sales and galleries, um, you know, it's an especially good time. So my thanks to you and thanks to everyone who made this possible. It's, uh, it's really special. A huge heartfelt congratulations to Lynette Cook for winning the grand prize award. That was amazing. We'd like to congratulate all of the award winners and all of the AWA members who participated in Lifting the Sky. AWA's 2021 National Online Exhibition. It was an incredibly competitive show and AWA is honored to host another remarkable exhibition. An incredible show indeed. Amanda and I, along with the AWA board, would like to say thank you to our sponsors and our patrons. Without you, this would not have been possible. And thank you to everyone who is watching this program today. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our award ceremony, and we hope that you will join us for some of our virtual events, which will be running throughout the show. You may find these events on the AWA's events page, and thank you again for joining us, and good evening.